the ocean is in trouble and it's in trouble due to climate change. Obviously, it's, it's a particularly big one. Overfishing is a stressor of the ocean. And then pollution is also a critical problem at the moment. Looking after the ocean is not just about uh, maintaining a clean environment, it is also about supporting human life on Earth. Over the years, there have been fisheries that have closed because the fish stocks have collapsed or they have disappeared. But similarly, we also have recent examples of fisheries that have recovered because the regulation of the fishing activities has been appropriate. And so these examples are encouraging because with good law and good governance and good implementation, we can affect a positive change international law moves slowly, often by consensus, so you need to bring a lot of parties to the table, you need a lot of discussion, ultimately to reach agreements, and sometimes this is cumbersome and difficult. But by the same token, it's worth it, because there are legal frameworks that exist and have been created through that effort that have made a significant change in our journey towards sustainability. In my experience, students are interested by the world around them. And so it is about connecting the law to their own interests and to want to analyze the law, to want to apply it, to feel that they have got something really powerful and useful, that they can learn to use it and learn to understand it, and that uh, the law can not just improve their lives, um, but also the lives of others.